Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a custom timeline and have multiple timelines to select from. So first of all, I've got my project plan open. I'm going to go down to the timeline view. So here is the default timeline and you get a timeline tab format there. So basically you can change the color of this. I've got this green at the moment, but I'll change it to something different. So that's mustard. Now to add tasks, so these are your Gantt chart tasks. So to add these tasks to your timeline or create new tasks, you need to be doing it from this tab. So existing tax tasks. So if I tick house one, house two, okay and you get house one and house two, the dates that are there um, gonna take place. If I click on that one, let's change some of these colors. So we can have, not that color, cause that's terrible, too, too dark. And we'll pick a red one. So you can change colors, red's no good, or maybe the timeline's no good, that color. So let's go for a, a light blue timeline. Red's still not good. So I'll pick mustard stands out better so you can just format the timeline like so now if you want to add an additional timeline or bar you can add one there and you can configure the time range or date range for this um, from here date range so set custom date range so it's due to start on the 20th of September let's go for the 1st of January 2022 or well, 3rd of January 2022 and let's go to March say so you just want this to be the 1st of March okay so you get a little baby timeline change the color on that one so it's not the same color as the one above in fact that's not true I can't do that they're both going to change colors which is a bit annoying never mind let's add some tasks existing tasks let's go for house six and seven Okay, so six went on to that one. That one is in the, on the 10th of March, so it's gone on to the main one, so it's not there. And we can change the color on that one again. I'll use that color, just because it's there. Um, pick a terrible at colors. I suppose I could pick a white font. That's okay. Now, if I want to add a task that isn't on the Gantt chart, you can add, add a task through there. You can also add a milestone, all these things. And when you do that, if I add one, if I just insert a task, I'll call it um, house 10. I don't think I've got 10 houses. And it's due to start on the 9th of September, finish on, let's go for the 13th. Okay. So there's, it's on the same date as that look. And I've now got a double, I'll just colour that in, same as this one. And I'll just go back into that task on the Gantt chart and just have a look at that. So the view I've got here is obviously not the normal view that you would be looking at. So if I go to view tables, put this back to the entry view. Um, let's go, let's go 20 days so it's the same as everything else before the project cancel. So what's the start date? Well, let's just get it to follow that. So that's gonna follow 12, house 10. And um, we want it to go up there. So that needs to follow 10 actually, follow 11. That follows 12, change that. So it's gone to the end. Now we should be able to change the duration to 20 days. 20 days. And it's got a constraint on, so I need to go into it, onto the advanced tab, and put that back to as soon as possible and get rid of that date. It's not the end of the world if I left that on there, but project would treat that slightly more important than any of these if you was going to do resource leveling. If I go back down to the timeline, um, there's house 10 now at the end. Now, if I want to save this view, I can save this view. So if I go back to the view tab, I'm on the view tab, save view, 
and I'm going to call this timeline 2. Okay. Now when you're on your Gantt chart, you can, I'm on the view tab still, tick timeline. So timeline 2 has come on there. I've also got a timeline 1, which is just that straightforward timeline with nothing on it. Now, you can also drag, manually drag tasks up there, sit this on there, copy it onto the timeline. Where is it supposed to be? September. Timeline is not active to September, so that's not good. Change the timeline. Timeline that one okay it's already on there but it's not let me drag that on there can't drag that on there so it's not let me drag that on there it's let me drag that on there okay and it'll let me drag this on there okay so if it's in the time range you can drag it on if it's not it won't let you drag it on, and these are not. These are probably because it's completed. I didn't notice that actually. I'll just uh, put them back. Just double check that. Right. So that's starting on the twenty first of October. So these are starting before that. So that first one, that number four, is, is November. Should better drag that on. Yeah. House three. So if the timeline is not configured to take the other ones you've got a problem or if they're already on there you've also got a problem now I've got this timeline totally cluttered you've got um, let's go back to the timeline so you can see it in a better view now you can copy this timeline for email for presentation and I'll just put it into PowerPoint just basically copies it and then you paste it into PowerPoint um, you can remove things by clicking on remove from timeline or you can click on them and press delete which is probably the quickest way to get rid of things and if I click on that it'll get rid of that timeline altogether and get rid of that get rid of that so you can do all that you can um, or you can also expand the number of lines that's displayed if you had loads of text in there we haven't so I can put that back to one probably it still would work still see it bar label Call that one test. There you go, test. Now if I add a um, a new timeline and then I've got bar label, I'll call that test one. Obviously you give it some name that makes sense for you, um, but you can actually label each one. You can change the date format if you want. So it's on the default, but these are different formats. We've already looked at the date range for these, so if I go to this one, change that back to a custom rate again. So, 1st of January. 3rd of January to 1st of March. Like so. Okay. Right, so that's basically how you format the timeline and how you add things to it. I would recommend that you don't necessarily add tasks through this view. Um, I've also shown you how to save a view so you can get back to different layouts uh, or add different layouts from here, from your Gantt chart. So tick that and then you get all those custom options or your basic option. Save that view. Save that view. Totally up to you. Or if you go back to view, you can just have it off, which is what I tend to do. So hopefully that's of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.